What's going on guys? Welcome back to Your Lake Fort Guide. Hey, we're out here in the winter doing some bass fishing in East Texas and today we're going to be using the Humminbird 360 to locate grass hatches and hopefully catch some really big bass. So y'all stay tuned. Well, all right, guys, like we said in the intro, we're going to be using a Humber 360. I got my buddy BJ Anderson back out here with me. What's up, Bill? What's up, William James? Let's do it. That thing ought to be running by tomorrow. We just turned it on, so it'll be a little bit. A little bit. But hey, we're down here at Lake Fairfield. Lake Fairfield's kind of over having a lot of grass. We're going to poke around in this corner right here. It's one I fished in the past. Not recently, but I have fished in the past. And the first thing we're, we're going to do is get on this 360 and see if we can't find some outside grass lines. Because hey, it's winter time. We've had cold weather and it's the time of year to be looking for that grass to catch those fish. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to find out today how effective a Humminbird 360 is in locating grass lines. To the novice. I will say one thing, I've noticed some comments about some guys telling me I need to do this on the settings, I need to do that on the settings on the Garmin video and on this video. Guys, I am intentionally going out and filming this without researching anything about how to set them up because part of what I want you guys to know before some of y'all that don't have them, part of what I want y'all to know before you go buy these things potentially is just how user friendly they are and how easy they are or are not to set up. I have done zero research on Humminbird 360. BJ's had it for a little while, he's used it, he's a little bit familiar. But other than that, we have no like expertise in this game at all. So uh, the one thing I did really like about the Humber 360, or one of the things I really liked about it was it is very user friendly. It is easy to use. So uh, we've got it dialed up and going now. Let me get up here and see if we can move this trolling motor around. Well, BJ, we got to turn the trolling motor on, bub. Okay. That's part, okay. part of the gig. What you do, back down the contrast? I'm just educating myself on what grass, I'm playing with the contrast and I'm educating myself on what grass looks like because uh, there's grass. <laughs> we're, on, we're in a whole field of grass right now. So I actually think that the edge, it just looks like rough stuff on here is what it's looking like. Yeah. Oh, I see it. So I think what's happening is that that grass is showing up just looking like a little rough patch and I think there's actually some way back out here. There's a good shot of an edge right there, folks. Y'all can see that line right there. That is a clear grass edge. What we've got is we've got a point that runs out from over here uh, and runs all the way out in front of us. And there's obviously grass up and down that point, as you can see right there. Well, there you go, BJ. It identifies grass pretty like, good. Yeah. I can see that. Now yeah. You know what I'm looking at? Yeah, you're just looking for that difference in bottom. So the, I think the key to seeing the grass on the, on the 360, because obviously you can't see, you know, it's not like normal with sonar where you can verify the vertical difference. Um, you just got to look for that change in bottom contour, bottom context, like it looks like a different bottom. Well, if it been looking like dirt, been looking like dirt, then it doesn't look like dirt. Well, that's obviously grass. So um, it shows up really clear right now. That's a great shot of it right there. Well, you can really see the edge of it. The boat's positioned just on the edge of it right now. Yeah, that looks good. I can tell that. There you go. I like that. BJ actually asked me to come with him looking at grass one day because he wanted another set of eyes on it because he was having a hard time identifying grass. There's the deal. If you have a defined edge, you can see it. If you're over, like, the one thing that's kind of a, a tough deal is you don't know how tall the grass is looking at it on here. You can't tell how tall it is. And that's where something that was a forward-facing deal, you would be able to tell how tall the grass was. So. Man, I ain't even thought. Go ahead. BJ! It's a giant old Whopper Jr. Good job, buddy. He's mad at the uh, purple. That's old Cotton Cordell purple crankbait there. Uh, chartreuse belly. Yeah, I like it. 
Just show that fish to the folks at home down there. Or better yet, you can just show them right here if you want to. Make it easier on you. They can see your bait and everything. It's so pretty. That's a giant. Sure enough, certified giant. But as you guys can see on the 360, we are just going down. Y'all see that little hard grass edge right there? We're just going down this little chute right here. It's got an edge of grass. The bank actually drops off a lot steeper in here uh, than some of these other flat areas we've been fishing. But we've just been following this grass line up this chute and uh, BJ just got one. So I hate to say this, but I think Justice might have a little bit of a point. This is like the perfect amount of wind. And we don't catch one in here. Bye, golly. Get you a jerkbait fish. William, that's kind of a decent one, dude. Look at here. Oh, he's about to come off. He's about to come off. There you go. That's not a bad one, BJ. That's a nice one. That's a good fish. Doing the same thing, folks at home. We're just following grass lines using that 360. I don't let the wind drift us. We don't get all the way up in the grass now. Look, you can see that little ditch running up here. Look how clear you can see that little ditch running up here That's in this grass. Well, I will tell you, that thing does. It marks grass perfectly. We oh. talked to Justin Hammer on the podcast week before last, and he said the 360, his favorite thing about it was fishing grass, and I can see why. I mean, you could literally... I like that. Like, I, I just... You right after yeah, that, you did. I was like, That's yeah. sweet. I mean, I literally... We saw that grass lane, and I just pulled the boat out here, and we spot locked it right in that lane that has no grass, and we're sitting in the middle of that ditch, and we're surrounded by grass on all sides. Like we said the time before, just you're always casting at the right part of the, the cover. Joe, you got a fish? Back here on that old sissy stick. Get that upside down pole. There you go, Juicy. Well, I guess you don't have to sell your fishing gear now. That's a good thing. People <laughs> <laughs> talk crazy to you. Hey, hold on. Well, we just got to coach it. Just take some coaching. I've been there. It just takes a little coaching. <laughs> Don't you want to be part of the show there, Juicy J? Juicy, there's a, there's a whole camera deal where. I, I know. You got to show it to the folks at home, my man. It just took me a little while to learn to. You got to show off your prize. Yeah, he just thought we were fishing. Actually, we're actually not doing anything like fishing. Brother Gage, give him heck in the comments right now, Brother Gage. Get him. <laughs> And I got no camera for one. BJ, we didn't get any of that on camera. Listen to us, Jay. The reason I'm struggling so much with this 360 is we landed right in the middle of the grass. If I would have not run the boat up so far, yeah, I think I would have been able to figure it out myself. BJ, you got a big? Okay, take your time, take your time. Just let him, just easy, easy. Just keep the bend in the rod. Just keep the bend in the rod. I'm about to hit spot lock. You ain't got a net anywhere, do you, Han? He's got one little bitty hook in him. There you go, son. How about that one? Oh, jerk bait fish. Listen, I just want you folks to know. I guess I can't complain too much because we brought his boat. I'm using his 360 for all these grass lines. But the man literally stole my entire jerkbait setup. That's my jerkbait rod. Get your one it's my jerkbait I tied on to throw this morning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's whooping me with my own stuff. That's a good one. Let's go get close to the camera. Make hey, it look hey, uh, giant. Note to self. Um, she hit that on the steel. So that other one. On the paws? On the paws, yeah. On the paws with a jerk jerk. If you're out there on Lake Fork and they were like, uh, delivery cheeseburger on boats, twenty dollars. Cheeseburger fries. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Be right, thumb you drag. Be right, thumb you drag. There you go. They have a little line. All right, I'm gonna get you some room here. We'll cut the troll motor back the other way. Be ready. Spot lock's gonna kick in right now. There you go. I don't wait at playing, BJ. You got that one, Bubba. 
Oh, you almost popped off. Do you see that? Yeah. Right there at the last second, that one hook popped out as I lifted him. That's why you don't boat flip jerkbait fish. How about that? It's another good one. <laughs> You're doing it up on that jerkbait. You whooping me, old son. There you go, BJ. Good one, William James. Good one. Jerk baiting. Jerk baiting. On the grass line. Baiting the jerks. On that grass line right there. Y'all see that grass line? He's right there. Yeah, when you start playing golf at a higher level, man, that wind becomes a... Oh, there he is. What you got there, Bill? Got a little bass fish. Some giant. Just an old giant. We ain't catching nothing but giants today, y'all. He come up there wanting some of that promo. Look here, he ate it sideways and got my line up around my hook. He had everything. Look at this. How on earth did he get hooked like that? He's hungry. Look at there, folks at home. He got both them hooks. I'm going to knock the absolute fire out of it. I believe this is the nursery over here, BJ. It's pretty close to where you caught that first one this morning that was yeah. tiny. Yeah. Right? Run into a group of young ones. These suckers over here got milk on their breath and everything. Hey, who's there? William! It's the nursery! It's the nursery. Did you just catch the same one I caught? Look, we got a boat race coming out of back I, here. I think mine weighs more. Come out here, she. You gotta get that one real close to the camera, like super close. Giant. Giants. Giants. It's all we catching today, just them giants. Well, folks, the uh, the old battery died on us, and wasn't a couple minutes after it died, I hadn't changed it out yet. Wanted to make a couple more casts, and uh, William James caught another. Was it? What are you? That's a Gigantosaurus Rex, I believe that is. It's huge, folks. It's huge. 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 Good job, BJ. Jerk baiting. Jerk baiting. BJ, you're kind of a jerk. I am a jerk. You're a jerk. Okay. You're a jerk. Well, that's going to do it today for our adventure. For our adventure. Our adventure using that 360 Hummingbird unit to find grass. And I got to tell you, we've really focused in on this 360 unit. Two different videos now. Totally different types of structure. Totally different types of fishing. And uh, I am thoroughly impressed. Yeah, I love it. And I appreciate you bringing me out here today because I learned a lot about ID in the edge and how to find those little pockets yeah. and drains that especially the ones we fished this morning yeah it's just been a good day man windblown grass it's been fun yeah it's been a lot of fun caught them on a jerk bait something you weren't familiar with at all man you were the you stole the show dude you caught well, all the fish today I cheated. not only did you steal the show <laughs> speaking of stealing <laughs> i cheated a little bit folks i get here this morning and i've got my favorite jerk bait for sunny conditions and i've it's a discontinued color and i've only got one left and I tie it on. I think we're going to go all out today, right? And I've got to lay it on deck, and I'm messing around with the lipless crankbait this morning. And BJ reaches over I there. Ask, I asked for he, he did, he did. And I said, sure, throw it. I didn't know you were going to use it the rest of the day and catch, like, all the fish <laughs> on it. But he literally took my rod with my special jerkbait that I only have one of. And I appreciate that. That's a fun day. I appreciate you letting me bring Jeff. Absolutely, yeah. We had a lot of fun. And oh, Juicy J. He learned a little bit about a jerk bait today. Did you have yeah. fun, buddy? Yeah, I did a lot. A lot we, of fun. We had a great time, man. And I got to say, well, like I said, the 360 unit, there is no way, I can't say no way, but it would have been so much more, infinitely more difficult on a windy day. You guys can see it's blowing. It's been blowing all day from, well, most of the day. It was calm this morning, but it's been blowing most of the day. There is no way that you would have been able to identify those grass edges with the accuracy that we were and stay and that's what caught the fish because it, it, it wasn't an easy bite it was a tough bite out here today we weren't just throwing a moving bait up on the grass edge and catching whatever well, i tried traps we tried cheddar baits justice threw a wacky stick bait around a lot uh it wasn't just an easy bite you had to throw that jerk bait and you had to throw it on the edge of that grass uh and you had to stay on that edge and without that 360 there's no way we would have spent as much of our day throwing it the right stuff no, that's a good tool i mean we were hitting it right on the edge the whole day i'll use it a lot more uh now that i know what i'm looking at yeah i appreciate it it was great thoroughly impressed 360 if i had more than two thumbs i'd give it every one of them it's a great great unit i would think it's a pretty safe bet that my next boat will have one on it good all right there you go recommendation you all seen us use it twice you've seen us use it on rocks and brush piles you've seen us use it on grass and we've caught fish each time we've used it and the biggest thing is like i've said and i know i keep repeating it but it's unbelievable to me just how accurate you can be 
it putting your bait in the exact precise location that you want it on good high percentage pieces of structure that's the deal about the 360. Hey, man, we appreciate you guys watching today. We certainly hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and support our sponsors below, SixCentsFishing.com. That's where that jerk bait is from. You can go over there and check them out. If you order anything, be sure you punch in the code, your Lake Fort Guide. You'll get a 10% discount on all orders. One other thing. This is not a, uh, we're down here on Lake Fairfield. This is not a lake that we have a premium package on on the Fish Life app, but the Fish Life app is linked in the description. If you subscribe to the community package, okay, that's going to cost you $7 a month for community spots from Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And every spot that we got to bite on today, I will put on the community app. That's just a sample. There'll be over 100 spots on there for $7 a month. You can't beat that deal. All these spots are accurate, up to date. They never last more than 60 days, so they're always current. We, we actually verify every single waypoint that gets submitted to us to, to go public before it goes public so every spot on there is good information on public water always current go check that out y'all got anything else y'all want to sell been a good day man i've been selling Thanks everything <laughs> we appreciate it guys thank y'all for watching we'll see you next time right here on your lake fort guide